All right, what's going on YouTube? This is KB giving you a uh, 10 month update on my tanks. Got uh, some new additions I think y'all be interested in. Well, first addition is, um, we'll get to the coral later, but upgraded the lights. Got rid of the two little nano tank lights that I had on the tank and uh, got some Ocean Revive T. 247B. Um, actually, the one on the right had a co worker that was selling it for 50 bucks, which you can't beat. Um, they're, I think, 180, 190 bucks. So I uh, went ahead and bought a second one. And let me tell you, I am very impressed with these lights. Uh, the con is it does not ramp up or down but it has a built-in timer and you can program each light to come on at a certain time as two channels your whites are I mean your your blues are channel one and your uh, full spectrum greens and yellows are channel two I like these lights very much because they are so powerful. I only have the blues running at 40% and the white full spectrum comes on at 12 o'clock to five. And uh, I got those only at 10%. So even at 40% blues, 10% whites, um, it illuminates the tank very well. So I'm gonna eventually probably get up to 60% blues and 20% whites, but Little do it yourself. Got some uh, shelf hangers, a little, uh, what is it, shower curtain rod. Got them hanging about 12 inches off the top of the tank. And let me tell you, the corals are just growing. Now, if you've been following, you know that I started this tank strictly off of nothing but little $10 pieces of frags. And uh, everything is just growing. Uh, both clowns are still in there. Uh, got a little damsel. There is a purple dotty back. Um, there's certain stars somewhere under here on the side, hanging out with the peppermint shrimp. Um, I got three peppermint shrimp in there. And the reason I got them is that little small aptasia outbreak, and rather than doing all kinds of chemicals, I decided to go ahead and get some peppermint shrimp. And within two weeks, they ate everything. Um, one of my buddies was breaking down his tank and he uh, hooked me up with this nice piece of rock. And actually it is a, it is live rock, um, but it's a unique piece of live rock. But the way I had it set up, uh, the little aquascape, it actually uh, does very well. Eventually I'll start put some corals on it and gluing it to it since it's more of a flat surface. But, and they also have a lawn mold Lenny somewhere in there at the conch nails. Um, but it gave me a little small piece of Kenya tree about two weeks ago and already it's just taken off. So the Kenya leather is growing. Got my GSP glued to the rear. And everything just seems to be taken off. You got a coral bandage shrimp molted last night, so um, he is uh, somewhere up underneath there. Let me see. Right, yeah, there he is. He's up under there. But this feather duster has had two babies so far. We got one sitting up there underneath the Duncan that's growing, and then that one has, has grown significantly. But all in all, everything is thriving. All my levels are great. Little zoas are taking off. Polyps are just coming out. So I'm going to have a, this whole side little zoa garden mushrooms. But uh, in, ten, in nine, ten months, I'm uh, very excited at how well this tank is growing and how stable it is. And the reason it's so stable is I don't have a sump. I have my Fluvolt FX4 canister. Now this canister is rated at for a 250 gallon tank, but I got it on a 55 gallon tank. So when I do my weekly water changes once a month, I'll change out. The only thing I'm running in there is uh, 
It's got five different stages of filtration, but you've got your foam, um, polishing pads, you have your micro fiber filter, and then in the middle, I'm running just activated carbon and has uh, ceramic bio rings, but all of my levels are good. Nitrates stay between five and 10. So with all the copepods that are just thriving in this tank, I decided to do a second update, um, which is a macro algae reactor. Um, looking on YouTube and, and whole phosphate reactor that somebody had and just gave it to me so yeah two so i made another one for a buddy but 20, 19 bucks i bought the uh grow light led strip wrapped them around it the return pump is right there next to uh the suck the outlet for the canister filter but it just suction cups to the wall runs over and down and i got some chato at the back of it and it's two chambers this is the first chamber second chamber here i'm pick up today one of my buddies got some uh dragon's breath so i'm gonna put this top chamber here some dragon's breath and the bottom uh, and i've seen nothing but good results from these from all of the do it yourself the only downfall is is that some people are saying that have the white glow grow lights on there that they get so hot that they start cracking the plastic so i got a fan on it i'm gonna get a more quieter fan but just the touch i mean it's very cool touch so um i'm very excited so i'll be able to uh keep my phosphates and my uh nitrates in check also put a little shut off valve there in case I need to disconnect real quick. Can't find the plug. On this side I just got all my power supply and filters and stuff for the canister filter. So ten months in canister filter, no sump. And that is my refugium. And uh about two weeks, that Chato is just going to take off and grow. But this is my 55 gallon so far. It's updating, but, and it is doing good. I'm enjoying this hobby. My water changes. Um, I was able to pick up a six stage RODI kit from Somebody, one of the guys from these reefing groups locally, and uh, this is the sixth stage, and he only wanted 50 bucks for it, so that's $300 and change. I got this canister filled. Canister needs to be changed. I actually got a couple of replacements for those he already had, but I'm for the sake of it, he said it's been sitting in his garage for about a year. I'm just going to change them all, uh, so I ordered all new canisters uh filters from brs bulk resupply and even though these are still good because you can see this one's starting to go bad this is resin that's in the deionizing canister so uh what you want to do is once i get them in i'll dump this one clean it out and then move this one since it's still good over here and then put the new one here so I'll have an extra one. But that's what BRS suggests rather than change them both. This one always is going to go bad first. And then eventually this one will start turning brown. Um, so I'm going to move this one over here and here. But I'm going to have it mounted. I already got the wide fitting set up. Uh, I got the 2x4 that I'm going to mount it up here. And then have it checked and have a little runoff. So we can drink our old water. And then the DI and I'm figure out what I'm gonna do with the wastewater um, I looked at a couple of ideas on how to do it but upstairs in my foyer that's where I got my 55 gallon tank my man cave is right over there to that side but 
I went ahead and started a second tent. Excuse the mess. Children playing in the bedroom. But in my bedroom, I have a flu ball. This is a flu ball. Let me find this. The Fluval M60, all in one. It uh, comes with a the Fluval Marine and C 2.0 light. It's full spectrum. It's got your whites, your blues, your greens. Also changes with the tip. You're able to dim them if you hold it down, and then you can bring it back up. Um, what's also awesome about this light is that for separate purchase, you'll have a, uh, you can buy the Fluval Wi-Fi controller where you can control it from your app and it changes this light from a, just a button push to a, uh, ramp up schedule. It'll ramp up, ramp down, go to your moon lights, um, then shut off and it also does thunderstorm and cloudy days so it's like a 60 or 70 bucks for the wi-fi controller and I, i'm gonna go ahead and order that next week but this tank here is uh 25 gallons it's got a five gallon sump behind it um i'm gonna make this strictly a uh, clown and bta tank and my other tank i've got a rose bubble tip anemone um, this tank is going to have moved that BTA over here, but right now the two snowflake clowns in there. My daughter's one of snowflake fans. The uh, I used a piece of live rock from the main tank and about 10 gallons of water and about three cups of sand. So the tank cycled actually in um, seven days, no, six days, excuse me, seven days altogether. Um, so all the inhabitants right now, I got the female snowflake, I got a male who's significantly smaller, a um, couple of snails, I got a conch snail that's in there, like a, there should be two torch snails in there, um, and then I have a skunk, well excuse me, cleaner shrimp, and uh, those are going to be the only inhabitants of the sinks in the bedroom, it's a nice little display. I bought one of the little intake media baskets. I enjoy this, the intake ones. Uh, some filter floss on the top, carbon second, the third's got the bio rings, but I'm gonna move that bio ring bag over to the last chamber and put some uh, Fosgard in it. But I made the middle chamber a refugium. But one of those submersible lights and uh, put some rubble rock on the bottom. And the ceramic rings, but I bought one of the little submersible lights and it changes colors. So it's kind of awesome because at night I can run it and change it with the remote to red um, and not have the whole house bedroom lit up. But there are a couple pods in it. I got a nice significant chunk of that and the other one from a co-worker. But that's the media basket for the first chamber. I don't know how, how hard it is to see, but it's all the cords in the way. But I just started it yesterday. The water is pretty good water flows because I changed the stock pump. The pump that came with this whole system. Actually, this whole system is like seven hundred and forty nine dollars or something like that um, so I uh, decided to go ahead and I don't know what's going on here So yeah, that turned the light off and uh, let it, just 
let it relax a little bit, but everything looks good. So that is my update. Fluval tank in the bedroom. And then I got the main tank up here. So loving this hobby. If you got any questions on anything with the tank to include how to uh, do this little macroalgae reactor, uh, give me a holler. Subscribe below and ask any questions, but everything's thriving. Canister filter, do it yourself a fugium, and my little all-in-one, but I think I'm gonna stick here. Stick at these two tanks. All right, it's KB. I'll let you later.